Gateway Sin, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Psalms 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were were yet were they drawn swords. I thought about it this morning, the concept of gateway sins. These are sins that start small, but then grow into something much more devastating and destructive. Think about Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount talking about how uh, in the Old Testament, we're told not to commit adultery, but he said, if you lust after a woman, you've committed adultery with her already in his heart. What he was saying is that lust is a gateway sin to adultery, or anger could be a gateway to sin to murder. In Psalms 55, there's an individual who is using flattery and um, and these little little white lies to somehow get his own way. Now, the danger is is those little sins turn into something larger. So those deceitful words ultimately turn into swords. Uh, and so we need to understand that our, our if we're going to fix the sin problem in our lives, we need to do it while it's small. Adrian Rogers said this, that little sins add up to big sins that lead to larger sins, and then they finally lead to calamities. Um, we got to guard against those tiny infractions, those thought sins, because ultimately they become attitude sins, and then they become action sins, and then the 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 result of that is devastating. So we've got to learn to handle the problem when it's small. I, I've said this before, but you can change the direction of an oak tree when it's a sapling, but you can't change the direction of an oak tree once it reaches a physical maturity. Once it's a full grown tree, you can't change the direction of the tree. And so if we're going to deal with these thought sins, uh, with these sins in our lives, we need to deal with the small ones first. The old timers had a saying, they said, take care of the little sins and the big ones will take care of themselves. So if we can handle, so if we can master our minutes, for example, then our hours and days will take care of themselves. If we can master the internal thought sins, then we're going to be less likely to experience the larger sins and then the consequences of those larger sins. So think Think about what you're doing, even though something may not seem bad to you at the outset, you need to understand that it's a gateway sin, like a gateway drug that leads to other drugs. It's a gateway sin that leads to other sin, which leads to destruction. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, help us to avoid all sin, not just the apparent ones, not just the large ones, but even the little foxes that spoil the vines, those small flies in the apothecary that mess things up, God, that contaminate. Help us, God, to choose wisely and well each day. Give my, my friends and loved ones, those under the sound of my voice, strength to stand against the tempter on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.